All right, here we are behind the scenes with Max. What are you working on today? Today we're working on a 1950s Logan lathe that Larry picked up out of a barn uh, within the last year or so. Uh, this is currently set up to be a turret lathe uh, where this mechanism up top here is able to uh, travel forward and back for each operation and this turret will spin. We'll see that in a minute. Uh, but right now, uh, we have it set up to test out a geometric die head um, that we have here. It's, um, it's kind of a neat older way to cut, um, cut threads on a, a part for one of these turret lays before CNC's were around. It uses these uh, small little cutting tools here that are called um, chasers. And as you can see, they are able to come out of that uh, mechanism there. They're small. E each one of these looks like a, a quarter of a die, if you uh, think of it that way. And these use a, a, a neat cam mechanism where this track inside the chaser is moved or actuated with a, a cam that rides inside of this block here that you can see moving out. And then as I rotate this in, it pulls all of the chasers in. So then they're set at a depth that way, which in order to uh, pull them out, the, the tool will normally hit its end of travel, the threads keep pulling, and this pops out, the whole thing expands back open. Um, the, uh, the depth for setting all of this is set with these Allens up top here, which if I can find the right wrench, if you watch here, you can see this opening up as this rotates around because this is adjusting where the cam stop is. Or on the back side there's a stop for how far I can rotate for that cam. So this is a, a, a half 20 uh, chaser set that we uh, just had around. It's not what we are going to be using in production, but I just want to test out the tooling and the setup on it. So this is the half inch bar stock that we're going to be using. Um, to forego some measurement, uh, I'm just going to take a look in here and see how it lines up. If I am even going to be able to cut any threads on that. Looks like I should adjust that out a little bit. Gonna put this in our turret lathe now. With the lathe set to uh, about 100 RPM, I'm going to uh, go ahead and turn it on, and then you can watch this mechanism cam around on it. And it looks like you cut the threads pretty well. Um, I might have had that set a bit tight for the half inch, but uh, we can see that it worked and with some tuning we'll be able to use it to actually create some parts. Well, it looks like the uh, turret lathe does now work and we will be able to put this into production making some of the uh, lead screw ends. Thanks for joining us today. See you next time.